What up everybody, welcome back. Happy No Shave November. For those of you actually participating, as you can tell, we are over at our office. I also found out that I actually have a couple of wisdom stripes. I have white in my beard. Hope everyone's having an excellent Friday, and for those of you that are actually attempting to go shop on Black Friday, Godspeed. For those of you that literally cannot move from the food coma from yesterday, congratulations, you did Thanksgiving right. So on to the important stuff. You definitely read that title right. I'm gonna share why I emailed Gary V. Let's go. So I can't wait until the very end. I've got to go ahead and give you the answer, at least to let you know why I emailed Gary V. To keep it simple, it was essentially to say thank you. But it wasn't just a general, thanks for the videos, Gary. Even though seriously, thanks for the videos. There are three big reasons I reached out and said thank you to Gary V. But I've got to give you a little bit of backstory on why I felt like reaching out to a CEO that I probably won't even get an answer from. And I get that. The man is busy. For those of you that don't know who he is, so for those who are living under a rock, Gary Vee is the epitome of entrepreneur, a CEO, a chairman, and a massive influencer. The only reason we know he's not a machine is because he's so transparent he would have told us by now. In 2016, I moved back to Orlando, Florida from Seattle. I had left a job that I was part of since college, since 2011. I just hit a point where it was time to leave. I was unhappy and it was time to take a jump. I spent 2016 to right around late 2017 jumping in and out of jobs, being fun employed. Really, it was unemployed. At the same time, I had also seen a video of Gary V's. Just a minute and a half into the video, I paused it and closed out of the browser. The reason is because I was trying to figure out what I was going to do next, how I was going to survive unemployment. And the last thing I wanted to do was listen to another guy like Tony Robbins or Dan Locke. So time went on, I traveled, I started to learn how to fly, I learned a little more about myself and finally found a really good spot at the company I'm at now. Right around the time I started, I stumbled upon another video of Gary V's, which is really not that hard because Gary is literally everywhere. This time I stayed and actually watched the video. And it wasn't because of the actual content, it was the fact fact that Gary V was still saying the same stuff. Gary is still being as genuine, as transparent as he was in 2016. And that, I feel, is what we need in the world that is becoming so fake. So one of the first things I thanked Gary for in that email was essentially thanks for the transparency. You can call it whatever you want. Transparency, honesty, being open, authentic, being genuine. Find your own word for it. Gary V is that. You can see it in his daily V. You can see it in his podcast. He is the most authentic, genuine person. Person, I believe on YouTube right now. As anybody knows watching this, not everybody is like that. Why do I think that people are not more transparent or not more open and honest? Because it is the uncomfortable way. It's not that easy to tell somebody no. It's not that easy to confront somebody. I know I'm in sales. I have to do that. It is hard. Nobody is perfect and it's really hard to always be as transparent as you probably should. So thank you Gary for sharing that transparency in being completely authentic as something that is very realistic, especially at somebody at your level. The second part of his message that I say thanks for is unbelievably timeless and extremely powerful. It's being self-aware. While being self-aware links to a lot of other pieces in your life, the biggest thing that stood out for me was being happy. Completely understanding your why, what you're great at, and what you actually want to do every single day is being self-aware. While I'm still learning who I am and and what my why is, I have a much better understanding of what I'm trying to accomplish versus 2011 when I first graduated college. Gary really pushes being self-aware and truly understanding what your why is, who you are, what makes you happy. Gary Vee loves to bust his ass, work 20 hours a day, and go see his family. I don't actually know Gary Vee's schedule, but I would assume by watching his content, that is pretty close to what his schedule is. That's not everybody's ideal happy, and that's okay. He says that in all of his content. He reminds everybody, his happy is not my happy. My happy is not your happy. The point that Gary tries to get across is you need to figure that out and have a good understanding of that. So Gary, thank you for pushing self-awareness on a world that needs it and for leading the charge and showing how it can be done. The third thing I wanna thank Gary for is pushing me to develop my brand. He really talks about branding, not only for a company, but for you. The world is hyper-connected now. You have Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook. There are so many ways to talk to somebody else. There are so many ways that somebody can find you on the internet. When somebody Googles you, what do they find? 
I hope it's something good. Or better yet, I hope it's something that represents who you are and what your why is. That is what Gary Vee talks about all the time, is your personal brand. What are you doing that represents you? We talk about it all the time in sales, that all we have when we move from job to job is our reputation, essentially our brand, and our network, our contacts that we've built up. Remember, everybody is somebody. I truly feel that we are in the very beginning stages of that. And Gary Vee touches on a lot of that in his content. One thing is for certain, branding is unbelievable unbelievably important and there is a lot to learn so get started now so if you're looking for an unbelievably authentic guy to go follow you don't have to necessarily be in sales or marketing go check out Gary V add a little authenticity to your day thanks for watching everybody please go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel for some more great content stay safe on Black Friday throwing that right hook for the iPad just because it's a hundred dollars off is not worth it and since it is going to be the last week of November next week you haven't donated to a great cause yet go ahead and check out the No Shave November link in our description below. And I'll see you guys next week. See you later.